So this is the repository in which we will be creating pull request straight from Visual Studio Code without having to come here. So if you already have a repository, you don't need to clone it, but I'll just clone this repository because I don't have this in my local machine. A quick tip to open command prompt in any directory is just click on this address bar in this directory and type cmd here and hit enter and command prompt will open inside this directory. And this is where I want my GitHub project to be cloned. So I'll just say git clone and then the URL, hit enter. And as you can see, this test repo just popped up here. Now we need to go inside this repository and let's go inside this repository from this terminal or command prompt too. I'll do cd and test repo and now I am inside this repository. Again, you can open VS Code and then browse to this directory and open this project, but I'll just do code and then a period, hit enter and Visual Studio will open with this project already open. Okay, now I can close this. Now, what I want to do is, let first, to create a pull repository, you first need to have your own branch, okay? So if you don't already have your own branch, you can create a new branch. If you already have made some changes, you can still create a new branch and the new branch will contain all your changes. So click on terminal and I'll create a new branch. And let's call this feature slash blind car or whatever. Okay, my bad here. Git does not allow backward slashes. So you need to, if you want to use slash, it has to be forward slash. Okay, now you have this branch and you can check out to this branch. And let's add a new file. Let's write some code here or anything. Let's just say this is an update, save it. And now what you need to do is, if you added a new file, you need to add this to tracking. If you just change an existing file, you don't need to do this step. So I'll just add it, git add, and this file is now added. And now write a commit message. Let's say update for flying car feature. Okay, now you have the commit. Now what you need to do is to create pull request directly from VS Code. First go to extensions and search for pull request for GitHub. So this GitHub pull requests, this is an official extension created from GitHub itself, created by GitHub itself. Click on install and we have get installed here. You will see this GitHub login come up here and now just click on sign in. Click on allow. And as you noticed, it will open GitHub. Just click on your GitHub account that you want to use to send pull request to, click on continue, click on authorize. And if you are using an authenticator code, it will ask you for the code. Just click on verify. And now Visual Studio Code will be opened up again. And now as you can see, these sections come up. Now what you need to do is just click on this here. This is create pull requests and you want to s update your flying car branch to the master branch, right? So you just write a message here, write a description. Feature can be published or something, whatever you want, and just click on create. Now, it is saying there is no remote branch on the wish test repo for flying, which is slash flying car. That is because we have not yet pushed it. If you had pushed it, you will not see this warning, but you don't need to push it. You can just click on publish branch and this extension will automatically push the branch for you and then create a merge request. Again, if you're asked this, just click on your GitHub account, click on continue. Okay, so why is it saying this? Let me check. You can cancel this for now. So it's having some problem with pushing. So no problem, I can push it manually by entering this command, git push origin and then what is our branch name? Feature slash forward slash flying car. Hit enter and now this branch will be pushed. So this is our branch, okay? And once this is pushed, we can create 
okay why don't i have the permission okay i have some issues with the permissions uh, you'll probably not have this issue if you have this issue i'll show you how to fix this in another video but this issue should not be occurring in your case you can just click on publish branch choose an account click on continue and once your changes are published what you can do is you can just click on create and then the pull request will be created so here as you can see you see this message the wish wants to merge changes into this so now i am the owner so i can just merge pull requests if i want and if you go to github now as you can see you'll see this and from here itself i can just merge the pr by clicking this because i have this permission if you do not have the permission to merge pull requests you will not be able to merge your pull requests so this is how you can create changes create a new branch push to github and actually create a pr from all within vs code if you have any questions let me know in the comments below